Welcome back everyone. In the previous lesson we set up our EZA uh, license key and installed the SDK here inside of our new Unity project. Uh, in this lesson right now we are just going to be setting up some of the project settings so that we can actually have this app ready to go on our device. So first of all let's go and switch over to either the Android or iOS platform since right now we are just stuck on the PC, Mac and Linux standalone. So I'll go File, Build Settings, Click Add Open Scenes so that we have our new scene added into the list right here. And then we can select either the iOS or the Android build platform. I'm going to select Android because that's what I'm developing for. And then just click on the Switch Platform button right there. So now that's done, we can actually go to the Player Settings. So I'm just going to click on Player Settings right here. And it's going to open up this window. Uh, first of all, we can change the product name, and this is what's going to be appearing uh, as the name of the app. So we can just call this one out Easy AR Image Tracking, like so. And apart from this, we only need to change a few things. First of all, down here in the other settings, let's make sure that we have our graphics APIs set up correctly. Uh, Easy AR runs on OpenGL ES3 here. Um, so let's remove Vulkan by selecting it and just clicking on the minus. You can leave it in there, but it's not that necessary. And once that's done, we then want to go down to the package name here. Now, if you remember over on our EasyAR app, um, when we created that on the website, we entered in a unique package name or bundle ID if this is for iOS. So we need to copy and paste that into this field right here. There we go, we got that in like so. And apart from that, that is pretty much all of the settings that we uh, actually need to change. We can go up here to the resolution and presentation. Um, and if you do wanna have it locked into a certain orientation, for example, if you want it landscape only, you can disable portrait and upside down, but uh, we don't really mind, so we're just gonna enable both of those. Uh, so after, ne after that, let's click on the X to exit out of that window. Same for the build settings. And now what we can do is start to actually set up our project. I'm going to be importing some of the files that we'll be needing. So to begin, let's right click here in the assets folder and go create folder. And I'm going to create a new folder here called models. We can create a, another folder. And this one here is going to be for our textures. We can then have a, another folder. This folder here is going to be for our materials. And we're then going to have two more folders. Uh, this actually a few more folders. Uh, the first one is going to, not that, we're going to create a new folder called scripts, where our scripts are going to be stored. And one more folder, and this one is going to be called streaming assets. Now you need to make sure that this folder is labeled streaming assets exactly as it is right here. Um, no space between streaming and assets. And the reason why is because this is a folder that Unity can identify. And this is where we are going to be storing all of the image targets that we want to be able to identify. Uh, so that now we have these folders here. What I'm going to do is start populating them with the uh, assets that we need, uh, which we aren't going to be creating here inside of Unity. So first of all, if we open up our models folder, we can import the actual uh, model, which is going to be used for the base with the four different colored triangles. Now, this can be really whatever you want, but um, we're going to be using a pre-built model that I made before. And this can be found in the included downloads uh, for the course. You can download the course files and it will be including everything. Uh, apart from the EasyAR SDK, because that is quite a large file download size, so you will need to download that separately. But we can drag in the base model like so, and it should import it, and you should see it over here in the inspector. Now, as well as that, we also then need to go to our textures folder, and we are going to be importing a beam texture, which is just going to be this image right here. You'll see that it does look a bit weird, so what we can do is make sure to enable alpha is transparency, so that the alpha value is transparent and not white. Click apply, and there you go. You can see it here. It's this sort of white beam with a glow on the outside. And this is what's going to be connecting uh, the various different tiles together. Apart from that, we can go to our streaming assets folder. And inside this folder is where we're going to be dragging in our image targets. Uh, and these image targets are just a JPEG image, which is what the app is going to be looking for through your camera. And when it does, it'll know that, okay, that is linked to a specific game object, which it's going to enable. And then whatever object that is, it will appear on top of that image uh, in the world. So we're going to have four of these that are also included in the project files. 
And since they are JPEG images, they're not going to really show up here inside of Unity as a preview. But this here is what they're going to look like. They're just these simple 2D square images, black and white, which have various different patterns on them. We have four separate ones. And the reason why they look like this is because when you want to set up an image target, you really want it to look um, very different from each other. And you also want to make them have very good feature points. Feature points are things of high contrast. And having patterns is also not that recommended. So making sure that each image has varying elements, such as these here. You've got small dots, big dots, various different size squares. That's what you want. You want these varying images, varying patterns. The more complex, the better. And maybe even adding in some color will help as well. Uh, but we have the quite simple ones here, these black and white ones. But really, you can use whatever image you want. Now that we have all the images and things imported into the game, let's now go to our scripts folder and here we are just going to create the template for the C Sharp script that we're going to be uh, using, which is going to be called our color cast. And this is going to manage uh, the rendering of the line that's going to connect two tiles when their colors match up. Uh, so we'll be doing that there in a later lesson. But for now, we have our project here set up and pretty much ready to go. Uh, we have our uh, Platform switched over to either Android or iOS. We have the project settings set up for EasyAR. Uh, now, if you do plug in your phone and you build the app to your device, you will be able to launch it. But, of course, there won't be anything to try out because we don't have any of the EasyAR elements implemented into the scene just yet. And that is what we're going to be working on in the next lesson when we look at setting up image targets. So, see you all then.